Hi Cancer, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the end of February. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Cancer, this has to be an actual connection of some kind, so you have to know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together, but uh, it has to be an actual connection of some kind. So let's see what's going on with the Cancer in Love, the end of February. Welcome in everybody, hope everybody's doing well. And I will say at this time, uh, because I do consider all my readings timeless, so if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links to your general and love playlist are down below in the description box, as well as decks I'm using, how to reach out for personal reading, social media, um, if you'd like to tip or send a gift, all that information is below in the description box. And I'll also pin some of that information to the top comment in the comment section. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So you may or may not resonate with what comes out here. Totally fine. We can get the sign, element, or a planet. Please, in this reading, only take what fits or what resonates. Throw away the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not resonating, it's not your reading. So let's see if we have a Cancer. What do we have here? So we have Pluto. So Pluto, I believe, is Pisces. No, it's Scorpio. So Pluto is Scorpio. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio or maybe they have Scorpio heavily in their chart or just somewhere in their chart. But Pluto is the energy of life, death, rebirth, sex, power, and control. So it's all the basic uh, basic things in life, basic uh, cycles of life with, you know, life, death, rebirth, sex, power, control, all that um, basic things in life. So let's see how that plays into your reading. And that's so funny because... Pluto's 22 and you're four. So, <laughs> wow. Okay. So two or four may mean something to you. All right. And four is all about stability, basis, foundation. Two is all about unity. All right. So, and decisions. It can be about unity or decisions either way. So let's see. So with this deck here, uh, Cancer. First thing I'm going to do is pull an overall um, connection energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading. For Cancer, it's an overall. Oh, we have Nurture. So we have the Empress. So this is a good energy. So this could be the birth of something new here. It could be a new connection, or you're just really giving and nurturing and caring towards one another. Um, very motherly energy, too. The Empress can be a mother. Or, like, or a mother light kind of energy. She embodies like all the energy of all the queens of the deck. Um, you know, the fire, the passion, the truth, the honesty, the stability. Um, and what's the other one? You know, the love and compassion, all that energy. So let's see. It's growth, abundance. One for you. So I'm going to call um, Cancer you this side and your person this side but if any time during during the reading you feel like the energies need to be switched please feel free to do that at any time and then we're going to clarify these energies with the tarot look at the actual situation advice for your connection possible outcome of your connection and then we'll get some extra messages at the end with the angel answers so let's see what we have under your energy so we have seek the truth this is the seven of swords kind of energy so you're seeking something some sort of truth from your person a truth about this connection okay so what is your person well, your person has love abound so brand new beginning and love kind of energy here you have the seven and one that's eight eight it can be about walking away or walking to something more fulfilling uh but eights are always about you know action travel communication all right let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have shine here. So we have the sun energy. It's a good energy. It's all about success, victory, growth, expansion, healing, enlightenment, happy home and family, the whole nine yards, everything positive with the sun energy. So that's a good energy. But for some reason, you're seeking the truth about something, about how they truly, truly feel about you. Do they want this new beginning in love? And it looks like they do. You definitely want this breath of something new with the empress energy. And you want your joy, victory, happiness, fulfillment in every single way with the sun energy, total enlightenment, everything positive with the sun. So you're seeking the sun energy of that happiness, that total fulfillment in life, that 
that nurturing kind of love, and it look like, looks like they have it here. Hmm. Okay. Cancer. Let's clarify these energies. And I just want to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped or donated or sent a gift. I appreciate all your support. And uh, I truly, truly appreciate it. And big, big thank you. All right. So let's clarify these energies for you, Cancer. Oh, that was a crappy shuffle. All right, so Cancer, what is Cancer seeking here? I think feel you need truth, clarity, honesty, communication, the tower. So this is, I mean, it doesn't have to be a breakup or a shakedown. It can be epiphany or a surprise kind of energy or just uh, interference or disruption of some kind. Oh, okay. So let's get one more. Eight of Wands, so, and I had said that if seven of Wands is eight, and here's the Eight of Wands, which is that fiery, passionate uh, communication, travel, taking action. You may just go, <laughs> you may just go bursting into your person, demand, <clears throat> my throat's getting closed up, demanding <coughs> truth and clarity. I feel like you're going to go rushing in, especially with the Tower and the Eight of Wands. Like, you're going to go rushing in towards him. Like, I want to know how you feel, and I want to know now. <laughs> this kind of energy, like causing like a disruption or commotion kind of energy. I'm not getting like a bad energy, but just like a very, um, <laughs> like, I'm just going to go say it like it is and say, you know what, what's going on here? So let's see, your person has the hermit. So yeah, they've been keeping kind of quiet. They're going in solitude, thinking, contemplating about this new love they feel, the love they feel towards you. Oh, I have one more that flipped over here. The seven of swords, they don't know whether or not to go or stay or sneak away. Maybe they snuck away from this uh, connection because they felt so much love, especially with the sun. That's a heavy connection. And I think they had to go away and think and contemplate about this. And you're like, well, where do they go? I'm seeking them now. I want to know the truth. What's going on here? Is this love? What are we doing here? Is this something new that we're going to give birth to? Are we going to nurture this? You know, we're going to make this shine or what? I'm just going to run right into them and find out what's going on. I feel like that's what you're doing. Because <laughs> you see your arrows, your wands are like pointing right at his um, lantern there. <laughs> Wow. Okay. And he's holding it back like, oh no, here it comes. All right. So let's get uh, the actual situation here for you. Cancer. For cancer. What's going on here? The emperor. So yeah, emperor, empress, doesn't matter. I feel like you're going to take control of the situation. Yeah. You're going to go barging in here demanding to know how they truly feel. They went off on a little recluse here in the Hermit energy. They snuck away because of this love that they feel. Maybe it overwhelmed them. And you're like, I'm not having this. <laughs> Four of Swords energy. So maybe, you know, you waited for them to come back. Okay. Um, they kind of either ghosted you or kind of, they said, um, I have to kind of go away for a little bit and think about this or something. You're like, okay, and you're kind of waiting for them. But now you're like, I'm done waiting. I am done waiting with the Emperor and the Tower and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're not waiting anymore. You're going to go rushing, barging, demanding the truth. What's going on here? What do we have fall here? we got the Devil in Reverse. The Devil in Reverse between the two of you. So, I mean, the devil, in, I mean, the devil upright can be about, you know, addictions, obsessions, or, you know, a very strong bond or something like that. Uh, lust, that kind of energy. Well, and let's get a couple more. It's right in the middle of the spread here with the devil in reverse. So, let's see. The Eight of Cups. 
Yeah, they, they went away for a time here. <laughs> they had to, like, walk away. They had to sneak away, walk away from this to go think about it because the strong connection they felt, I feel. Six of Wands. So success, victory here. So they know this is a very strong bond. They know they need to commit or offer something more. That could be that devil energy of maybe they weren't offering, you know, a full-on commitment. It could have been just, you know, like you were dating each other, seeing each other, but you both knew there was a strong connection here. Maybe you wanted more. Maybe that's what you told them. I want more here. And maybe they got a little scared and took off. And that could be, you know, the devil in reverse. Could be, you know, that fear, anxiety, stress, but maybe overcoming that with the devil in reverse. You know, overcoming the stress, the fear, the anxieties and worries kind of energy or if there was any toxic energy coming you know getting over that leaving an energy behind with the eight of cups now wanting success and victory so i feel like even though they did walk away went out on their went off on their own to try to figure things out about this um they do know they're going to level up with the six of wands because you do see the offer here the wreath on the wand so they know they're going to have to level up at some point I think they were just a little afraid of it but now the devil in reverse i think that coming out of that energy is kind of dissipating because now we have the ten of pentacles there you go so there's a long-term commitment that's the advice that's the advice for the connection so this could lead to a long-term commitment here marriage three of swords so we got heartache and pain here but it's right over the devil and the four of swords in reverse uh the devil in reverse and the four of swords so i feel like i'm not getting any kind of third party energy i mean that doesn't necessarily have to be i mean the third party could just be their own fear ego stress worry and anxiety getting in the way of this connection all right so let's see what else here four of cups yeah feeling kind of bored complacent blah and not sure what to do here about this connection. The Empress. So now we have the Empress and the Empress. So we have a matching divine couple here. It's definitely soulmate energy here. So the advice is from divine energy here that this can be the Ten of Pentacles. If somebody can get over their fear, ego, worry, stress, anxiety kind of energy or being stubborn, <laughs> somebody's already stubborn here, can get over that energy. This can lead to Ten of Pentacles, long-term commitment. Again, the Empress, the Emperor of the Empress, taking lead, taking control, taking charge, knowing value and your worth of the situation. This woman is pregnant, so I don't know if somebody could be pregnant in this situation. Maybe that's what scared the other person away, or your person away, if you happen to get pregnant or something like that. But they know the right thing to do here is to come back and offer long something long-term or commitment or something or step up to the plate or do something here. I mean, you do see uh, this person looking at this other couple with the Three of Swords. So I don't know if there's a third party involved here. I mean, I didn't really get that, but... All right, so let's see what the possible outcome could be with this connection. So we got the hangman. So thinking about this again, going into retrospective mode, observing, contemplating, gaining new perspectives, be becoming enlightened. Let's just su see the sun there. Fully enlightened, full enlightenment with the sun. The nine of swords. So stress, worry, anxiety. Again, I feel like this person just has a lot of stress, fear, worry, and anxiety. Like looking, you know, like looking into the future, I feel, to what this will be and just fear, stress, worry, anxiety, like getting the best of them and then being a little stubborn about this. They're trying to look at every angle of this, like the, the pros, the cons, and they know they have to come out of this hangman pose. Come out of hermit mode because you're just going to rush into them anyway. They see you coming. <laughs> they see you coming. Page of Pentacles. So yeah, there'll be a solid offer made here eventually. There will be a solid offer or reaching out, something stable, solid, maybe little 
at first, but hey, okay, can we take this slowly, baby steps, moving forward, um, being practical, smart uh, kind of energy. But pentacles, they come and they stay usually. So this person will eventually, you know, reach out with at least stable communication, getting over their fears and stress and worries. It may take them a while here to get that enlightenment, but they will reach out. Somebody will reach out here. And then take a leap of faith with the full energy. Resetting, restarting at zero, leaping right in, trusting everything will be fine. Nine of Wands, though, feel like, you know, they've been through it. They're worn out. Uh, this whole situation is wearing them out, but they're going to keep going and make those plans and decisions for the future with the Two of Wands, bringing injustice into this connection in some way with truth and clarity, balancing out the scales. Again, coming in with um, actions, you know, loving communication, loving actions, terms of endearment. Very strong bond here with strength, having courage, strength, and willpower, dignity, energy, to wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups, happiness, joy, kind of energy. You know, feeling, okay, I've been lonely without my person. I miss them so much that, okay, I know we have to go for, and we got the Ace of Cups again, this divinely guided brand new beginning in love, love and emotions overflowing, um, happiness and joy, divinely guided love. Feeling lonely and sad without the person. Wanting wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. Knowing how much of a strong bond it is. So gathering up all the strength and courage to come forward in a loving way. Bring justice into this uh, connection. Making plans for the future. You know, been through uh, the battle here. It's the wounded warrior. It's a struggle. You know, a little worn down. But ready to take a leap of faith. To start over, start fresh. Reset and have a new beginning here wow so the other signs we have leo we have scorpio we have um libra and taurus we have aries we have virgo we have aries again we have capricorn um where is this card here and then we have to do, do the empress here which i think is libra and taurus pisces Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we have Aquarius, Libra, Leo again. So a lot of energy here. So, wow. So somebody will finally gain, the car gain their courage and strength to come forward, do the right thing, balance out the scales, bring justice, getting over their fear, stress, worry, and anxiety over the strong connection, and take this leap of faith. All right, so, I mean, I don't know what why they have fear and stress and worry and anxiety. Um, what they've been through in the past, or they just have a fear of commitment. <laughs> oh, that's too many. So let's get some extra messages here. I do ask uh, Cancer, especially if you're new. Uh, you can check out my channel. You like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified. You won't miss any readings. You get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see. See, the situation will improve. So things getting better here. They will they will definitely get over their fears here. And don't stop. So you may need to keep pursuing this person, saying don't stop. Because this is situation, wow, will improve. Then we have get more information. Maybe you need to find out why this person has such a big fear of commitment or love or something here. Maybe maybe they went through a childhood trauma. Maybe they had a bad, bad relationship in the past. Um, I don't know. Maybe you just need to get more information about them and why they have this fear and anxiety. All right. And reconsider for some of you. So some of you may reconsider this, but I mean, reconsider, I see as like the hangman energy. I mean, maybe this person went into an energy of reconsidering like, oh, maybe, you know, I don't want this, but then reconsidering it and realizing, yes, I do want this because they do have the page of pentacles def definitely comes out, the six of wands, making that offer, 
We had the Ace of Cups twice. Let's see what's on the back bottom. Wait. So, and you see the sword, like, you come rushing in with the sword. So if you're thinking about rushing to them in some way, maybe you just need to wait just a little bit longer. Maybe that's what you need to re reconsider is waiting to rush in to them like that. Yeah, see, no. So you need to wait, I feel. Uh, may may not be the right time right now um, to go rushing in and demanding or whatever here because I think it might just pull them back a little bit more kind of energy. Okay, Cancer, so best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.